Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Nicole Kartik. We'll talk about your weather today and through Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer, but there are some storms brewing already this morning. We've got some moving through parts of Texas, which has prompted some flash flood watches and warnings since yesterday. So anywhere in red, that's flash flood uh, watches and warnings in the green too. And Austin, Texas also included in that flash flood warning until we head into this evening and other areas too across parts of the U.S. All right, so that's them. They're probably heading back later today into the weekend, but there is a risk of some thunderstorms uh, for today, and it's anywhere from Texas up towards Oklahoma and Kansas. We've got a lot of Cape that's convective available potential energy. When those numbers are high, you know, there's a good amount of energy in the atmosphere, plus you need the spin to create tornadoes. So a tornado threat today, but also big hail through parts of Texas, as well as heavy downpour. So anywhere marked in yellow is our threat for a slight risk of more active weather. The greens, the light green, the dark green, that's our widespread risk of some thunderstorms. But still in that area, you can see severe weather. Through Saturday, the risk goes down to a much more less intense situation. And then through the weekend, sort of these hit and miss scattered thunderstorms. But for Friday here, we start off the weekend at 85 in New York City. Towards the west, temperatures seasonably cool but comfortable. Los Angeles, 72. Let's take it to the lightning capital of the U.S. And this is in Florida, where on Thursday, this camera did a nice little slowdown to show you the lightning strike. Cloud to ground lightning, the most popular lightning strikes and the most frequent and uh, certainly impressive there. Speaking of Florida, we have this on the horizon. 80% 80 80 chance of formation for this storm in the Atlantic Ocean. If it does get named, it will be called Bonnie, and it could cause some rip currents along the coast of Florida for this weekend, as well as some soggy conditions through the Carolinas. We need hot temperatures in the sea surface uh, for sea surface temperatures to be about 80 degrees to get that formation happening. So looking like it's good for now. Coming up, we'll talk about your Memorial Day weekend with Dr. Doug Gillum in our Long Ranger.